umiyak habang sa salita po si uh, uh, cons Consul General. Natutuwa ba kayo sa sinasabi niya o nainis kayo? Your chair is na focus na ba? Sinampahan niyo ng kaso. Diktima rin po ako ng Alpas. Former OFW po ako from Taiwan. <laughs> Nangarap lang naman po ako para sa pamilya ko. Pero bakit? Okay. Meron ho ba kayong sama na loob dito kay Consul General? Wala well, po. Wala po. Oh. Sinampahan niya po kami ng kaso. Sino po nagsampan ng kaso inyo? Si Conchia. <laughs> oh. Conchia. Teka muna. Biktima na nga. Tapos sasampan mo pa ng kaso. Damn. What's wrong with you, sir? Filipino to, Filipino ka, di ba, sir? Sir, there were false accusations made against me and they were the ones being quoted, but I've talked to, to them and I was told that uh, the statements that were published in the newspapers were not theirs. Okay. So they were being quoted as saying that I did not act on the complaints they brought to my attention. No, no, because what? Oh, yun, yun po, sir. Eh. Pero, so, but that's in the newspaper. Ano pong, ano pong pinahin yung paso laban sa kanya? It, ano, ano uh, pinahin sa inyo? They were included in the cyber libel suit I filed against the Daily Tribune uh, last week, sir. But were they the ones who, who did uh, who cyber libeled you? No, sir. They were the ones who were quoted as saying that I did not act on their complaints, which was impossible because they were here in the Philippines. So, yung gusto lang naman po namin malaman sa kanila is just for them to share with us the truth and we could amend the complaint naman po. September pa po kami. Humingi ng tulong sa Daily Tribune. Ganon din po yung Daily Tribune. Hiningan po siya ng side. Okay. Uh, with the Indulgence of Central Reasons, is nandito yung Daily Tribune para tuloy-tuloy tayo. Hindi na mapatid doon sa uh, hearing ito. Uh, meron ba representative dito yung Daily Tribune? Okay. Uh, Ma'am, Maria Bettina yes, Hernandez. Sir, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair, Vice Chair, and the other senators. Would you mind to allow me to read our opening statement? just to put things in its proper context. I'm sorry, I'm sick, so I have to come here. So we'd like to thank Senator Rafi Tulfo, Chairman of this committee, as well as the Vice Chair, Senator Risa, Senator Go, Senator, uh, Senator JV, and other members of this committee for the invitation. When we started broadcasting about the subject of today's inquiry, we are only motivated by the highest purpose of the journalistic profession to which we belong. Kasama ka doon, dati, Conjan uh, Kato. And that is to quote film director Joshua Oppenheimer to uncover vital new information in the public interest and to put that information in a context so that we can use it to improve the human condition. When we first interviewed Conjan Kato in Daily Tribune's online show, Usapang OFW, last September 7th, Nasa YouTube po yan. Mainly regarding an earthquake that occurred in Italy around that time, simply to inform the public about the condition of our OFWs there. Little did we know that certain complaints from our workers, which were mentioned merely as an incident, would open a can of worms. Thereafter, or on September 21, 2023, we then interviewed a number of OFWs in relation to the alleged illegal recruitment activities of a company called Alpha Assistencia SRL, or Alpha for short, for what the OFWs claimed were non-existent jobs in Italy. Since we had interviewed Juan Giancato previously, we tried to reach out to him, sir, right after the show, to endorse the complaints to him, but to no avail. Concept and Tribune President Willie Fernandez <clears throat> noticed our predicament and offered to contact Mr. Cato. But it was only after a mutual friend who acted as intermediary that the Consul General responded, Ginos niya po kami. In the meantime, since the number of complainants ballooned after the broadcast, the Daily Tribune coordinated with the Department of Justice and Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia immediately scheduled a meeting with the complainants. The following week po yon, sir. The Daily Tribune also got in touch with the Department of Migrant Workers. And dito po siya, COIC, Hans Kapdak. Kasi ho, to extend help to the supposed victims. 
these efforts were made not for anything else, Konjan Kato, but due to a sense of public service that is but natural to any media organization, as after all, we exist primarily to serve the needs of the public and as some sort of court of last resort when other remedies have failed. Of all people, uh, your honorable chairman, you know this, as your television and radio show has helped thousands of people attain redress for various grievances. Being a news organization, we have always adhered to the principle of fair reporting. With all humility, this is the reason why the Daily Tribune was chosen Konting Yabang as newspaper of the year for the years 2017, 2021, and 2023 by the Rotary Club of Manila, the oldest Rotary Club of Asia. We have never been parsimonious with the opportunity to air both sides of the story, unlike the sinabi mo dun sa libel case mo, uh, Konjan Kato. As in fact, not only did we wholeheartedly entertain a certain Jeffrey Villalon, he's not here, who held himself out as a marketing director of Alpha Assistenza in order to get his side of the story. Nagpunta po siya sa amin, hindi ho namin siya hinanap. In response to messages from Konjan Kato, lagi ho siya nagtitext sa amin, we, ad we advised him, being a friend, to issue an official statement as he refused to be interviewed in order to clear the air, so to speak. All of, this, all of these things can be proven and are documented. As a matter of course, however, the Daily Tribune must exhibit fealty to its duty to disseminate news and information without fear, without favor, as our masthead defines. Thus, the news stories that referred Konjan Kato as supposedly having close ties with Alpha and purportedly sitting on the complaints. In the meantime... Sir po, ma'am, may I interrupt? So, meron ka ebidensya na meron siyang close ties sa Alpha? Do you have yes, proof? sir. Yung pong mga complainants. At saka po yung si Jeffrey Villalon ang nag-disclose nag nung relationship in relation to the video na una yung pinakita dyan. Okay. Siya po ang nagbigay so, sa So, yung video niya. showing na kasama po siya doon sa affairs na sponsored ng Alpha. Sir, yun po mga postings ng mga tao at saka yung mga complainants na lumabas at nagpa-interview na rin. Okay, gusto ko lang maad, ano, Mr. Kato, yeah, yung sinasabi niya na fair po yung Tribune, and I attest to that kasi recently naisulat niya po ako, nasulat po ako sa Tribune, and then when I send them a letter, I reach out to them, sinulat naman yung side ko. So dapat, nung nag-reach out sila sa inyo, pinakinggan nyo, nakipag-usap kayo, patas naman tong Tribune eh. Diba? Yun yung pagkakamali nyo. Tinabla nyo sila, and ngayon pumunta sila sa ibang agency at tinulungan sila, lumaking issue. Kasi kung from the first, first moment, ganun kami sa media eh, the first moment na nag-reach out ang media sa inyo para kunin ang inyong side, sumagot kayo. Huwag kayo matakot. Bagkus matuha kayo kasi kinukuha ang side nyo. May mga ibang media entities na hindi ko alam, hindi ko magbabangkit. Siguro yung mga hindi, hindi kilala. Titirahin ka ng titirahin. Hindi kukunin yung side mo. Pasalamat ka. Pag kinukuha yung side mo, dapat matuha ka, magbunyi kayo. Kayong lahat nasa gobyerno. Kapag tinawagan kayo ng media para kunan kayo ng reaksyon, kunin yung side ninyo matuwa kayo. Ibig sabihin, fair yung media entity na yan. Yun lang po. Go ahead po continue, Ma'am Fernandez. To continue your chair. In the meantime, some 70 or so complainants have formally submitted affidavits to the DOJ in relation to the same matter. So, for resolution na po yung kaso. This only goes to show that the subject of the news stories are legitimate matters of public concern. Thereafter, to use a cliche, the rest is history. Nandito po kami ngayon at kami po ay may libel case. The story blew up in all media platforms to such an extent and intensity that it has warranted an inquiry from the Senate. Ayan. In the midst of all the hula baloo, the role of the Ma'am, gano'ng pakahaba po yan? Sir, one minute na lang, sir. Okay. The role of the Daily Tribune has been, as it always is, to deliver to the public information on matters of public concern without any bias or slant. Just the facts. These not only are avowed mission, but our sacred duty as members of media, the so-called fourth estate. Thank you once again. We are ready for your questions. Now, kunin ko naman yung side ng DMW uh, through uh, USEC sa uh, Hans Leo Kakdak, OIC. So, ano po yung takeaway nyo rito? Uh, position paper nyo rito? Position nyo? Yes. Uh, uh, Hans Kakdak, USEC. Thank you. Chair Senator Rafi, Senator Risa Ontivero, Senator JV, and Senator Bongo, and colleagues in government. Um, of course, uh, Under Secretary Bernard Ulalio, who handles anti legal recruitment and anti uh, human trafficking, will 
will also provide the details. But let me just say that uh, Ms. Fernandez's uh, mention of the DMW, I can confirm that uh, I got a message from her around September 22nd last year. And uh, she mentioned the scam report there. Uh, it gave She gave me the impression that they were working on the story. So uh, immediately I contacted uh, uh, USEC Bernard. And as I understand it, from there, there was a meeting with a case conference between Ms. Fernandez and the complainants on September 25th. So three days later. And it did not take long. Uh, we endorsed on September 26, endorsed 19 complainants to the ATRAD in NBI. And in the first week of October, we sent a legal team, a fact-finding investigation headed by Assistant Secretary Francis de Guzman, a team of lawyers. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, to look into this matter. And uh, upon conferring with uh, Conjun Cato, uh, we took on the case of another patronato. It's called uh, Golden Power. And uh, the CG took on the case of Alpha Assistenza, as mentioned by USEC Ed. Um, my last point is that uh, since then, there have been 105 criminal cases between the DMW and the NBI filed against nine respondents in this case, and that we had also been responsible for the takedown of a certain Facebook account related to this matter. Uh, incidentally, we were responsible also for the takedown of around 7,000 online illegal recruitment sites on Facebook in the course of 2023. Uh, and uh, further details, uh, Mr. Chair, um, uh, if you will allow, uh, Yusek Bernard Olalia can provide. Yeah. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Alpha Assistencia is an immigration entity based in Italy. It is not a licensed recruitment agency. It was never given any license by the DMW. And it was found out by the DMW investigating team that it has conducted recruitment activities in the Philippines. And therefore, it is guilty of conducting illegal recruitment. No. So based on this, DMW conducted fact-finding missions based to Italy. No. We also did some remedial and preventive And then actions. what did you find? Olalia, do some investigation about Apo. ALPA sa Apo. Italy? Uh, Meron ba involvement dito yung congen? Uh, Kasi yun pong accusation ng Ang OFW, sanggang sa na-demanda sila at uh, pati sa papers ng uh, tribune, ng sinusulat to at uh, kaso to. So sa tingin niyo po, sa inyong assessment, uh, meron bang involvement or can uh, Congen could have shed light dito sa kaso pero hindi niya ginawa? We What's have your assessment? Your Honors, we have coordinated with the Office of the Philippines. Have they been helpful? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And uh, based on the investigation... Are they doing enough? to help the uh, situation of the OFW? Well, we defer to the actions conducted by the DFA and the PE, and our actions from the DMW is separate. Okay, okay. mamaya na po yung DFA, mamaya na po yung NBA. Kayo po, kayo po ang kakampi ng mga OFW. Apo. Bilang kakampi ng mga OFW, ano pong assessment nyo? Ano po sa tingin nyo? Ginagawa ba ng congen, yung mga otoridad natin doon sa um, Milan, Italy, yung kanilang mga trabaho? They, they have filed actions and they have filed uh, criminal before cases. Before filing actions, uh, meron ba silang pagkukulang before actions been made? Well, lumapit po sa amin yung mga OFWs, Your Honors. So, may base po doon sa ginawang assessment, paglapit ang mga OFWs, meron hubang pagkukulang ang embahada natin? Well, meron uh, bang pagkukulang si Conjet? We, Come we, on, be straight. We defer to the judgment of uh, this investigation with respect to that angle, uh, Your Honors. I know. Deference to a, a, an equal department, we, we refuse to comment on the actions okay. of the DA. Sige, I can't blame you on that. Okay. Uh, your, your, your Honors, can I can I make a brief summary? Sige, sige yeah. po. Konting okay. minuto ng time. Number one po, uh, we coordinated with the DOJ. We, we uh, okay. requested the DOJ okay. to form a special team to prosecute the filing investigation and preliminary investigation of the case. Okay. We also coordinated with the NBI, as mentioned by our OIC secretary. We have filed and assisted 278 victims. We also did a profiling of the victims. Karamihan po sa victims dito, your honors, are from uh, Region 4B. No? And why 52%. Is why is that? Andun po yung karamihan ng kanilang kamag-anak. 
Oh, okay. And then we were also able to determine the extent of the network of Alpha Assistencia. We identified the participants in the Philippines. We filed cases against all those who made activities in relation to the offering and recruitment of activities, Your Honor. Okay. Sige, uh, Senator Teresa, before we go uh, to the NBI. Yes, Mr. Chair, salamat po. So I was going to follow this up with uh, Yusek Kakdak, pero baka pati si Yusek Olalia could comment on it. Yung sinimulan ko pong pagtatanong tungkol sa Nula Osta, paano nangyari na inisyuhan yung mga victim survivors ng peke palang uh, Nula Osta? Paano po na-confirm ng local processing agency na peke yung mga yon? At sino po yung responsable sa pag-issue ng mga pekeng Nula Osta? Yung pong, Your Honor, yung pong uh, Peking Nula Ostra is supposed to be submitted and verified by an office here, yung Visa Center. And uh, hindi po nangyari yun kasi nga po, tulad po ng sabi nyo, Peke po yung Nula Ostra. So the, the Visa Travel Agency here refused to process those documents dahil po Peke. Galing po yun mismo sa Alpha Assistencia. At ibinigay po yun doon sa kanilang mga nirecruit na Pilipino dito po sa ating bansa. Salamat po, uh, Yusek. Last follow-up at this point for me, Mr. Chair. Uh, back to, uh, well, una kay Yusek De Vega and then kay Conjen Kato. Pwede po bang humingi ng kopya yung komite through our chair nung directive na in-issue to disassociate from the patronati? Opo. Uh, Salamat and then po. I, I, a slight yes, comment Chair. also. Just nagtatrabaho yung konsulado with the MWO. Uh, they, they have an attache or well, uh, an office uh, there. At, uh, and the reason why pupunta rin yung mga OFW sa DMW, well, they have to kasi under the new law, may DMW na. Mm -hmm. And secondly, well, possibly uh, that's why Conjen had to be responsible for this kasi wala pang labor attache at, at the time na una nagre-reklamo nung July. So we had a, a coordination meeting with the Filipinos on September 29. Okay, DFA can take care of the alpha assistance uh, cases Tapos yung ibang agencies, kasi hindi lang alpha assistance, ah, meron pa iba. They're taking care of it. So we're working together with it on, on it. no Pero the directive, you'll get it, madam. Salamat, uh, Yusek, uh, Mr. Chair. And so there was an order to disassociate. Uh, what was the association in the first place, Conjen, Kato, with the patro whether with alpha in particular or sa mga patronati in general? When we first uh, helped organize the Filipino Chamber of Commerce in Italy, and then from among the group, uh, we asked them to organize uh, a subgroup uh, of uh, Filipino owners, managers, operators of uh, patronatos and other service providers. And then we also organized other subgroups, mga travel uh, agencies, mga restaurant owners. So yun po yung uh, effort ng consulate so we could be in close touch with, with our kababayan. Salamat, Conjen. Baka i-follow up ko na lang po yun, Mr. Chair, sa susunod na hearing. And perhaps kung wala nang uh, oras ngayong hapon, hopefully sa next sa susunod na hearing, Mr. Chair, uh, mapakinggan din po natin ang isang former Alpha Assistenza employee. Uh, bak may oras ba tayo ngayon, Mr. Chair? Or sa next hearing ko na lang sa pangalanan? Next hearing, sa next hearing na po. Meron and, tayo mga susunod na hearing. Opo, Mr. Chair. And lastly po for this hearing, kasi siguro lahat tayo nagtataka na saan si na Grizel Respecio at saka yes. Frederick Dutaro. Uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa chair sa pag-issue ng sabpina sa dalawang iyon. At kung nandito pa po sila sa Pilipinas, pwede po kayang humingi ang no. chair para sa komite ng whole departure order sa kanilang dalawa? Is that possible, committee? Uh, Kasi alam ko, pag uh, whole departure order, dapat merong court order yan eh. Uh, Ma'am, as we, per immigration po, we wala can consult with the ito. NBI since the Wait. NBI is here. Is the NBI present? Uh, DOJ, D DOJ pa lang dito. Uh, DOJ, Attorney Nancy Lozano, the floor Sir, is all yours. Hi, is that possible na per request ni uh, Senator Riza hold the party order doon sa dalawa? Sir, right now po, uh, the authority of the DOJ is to issue an immigration lookout bulletin but not a uh, whole departure. What does it do, the immigration lookout? Sir, parang it's monitoring the travel of the subject individual. Oh. But sometimes po, uh, uh, pag nalaman po na their, their subject of an investigation or meron po silang existing warrant of arrest, pwede na rin po yun na nahuhold sila. So hanggang wala pa pong kaso sa korte, hindi po makapag-issue ng whole departure order, 
Sir, hindi po, um, hindi na po. Kasi po, pinagbalawala na po kami ng Supreme Court. So, okay. the authority is sa RTC na po ang mag issue po. So, kailangan bilis-bilis ng NBI pagpahal ng kaso. Oh, Before Mr. we go Chair. to the NBI, go ahead po. Kung ganun po, baka yung binanggit po ni State Council Lozano na Immigration Lookout Bulletin Order would be something. Uh, pero Better than nothing. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Pero may sinasabi din po si Comsec kanina about the location of yung dalawa po or si Ms. Respecio lang? Ah, dito po yung tiga immigration, sir. Okay. Ah, wala po doon. Sige. Pa. Be before we go to the immigration, amat po, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, isang huling maikli. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Salamat, Senator Mr. Isa. Chair. Uh, with all due respect po, uh, kasi kanina po na saksihan nating lahat, umiyak si Ms. Vanessa, uh, lumuha din si Ms. Apple, hindi ko lang po sa parehong dahilan. Pero, if I'm not mistaken, Conjen Kato, uh, may, may sinisimulan kayong banggitin na pwede namang i-modify yung uh, uh, kaso or if that was the term used. Kasi pambihira pong hinaharap po nilang problema, naghahabol ng hustisya sa ninakaw na pera sa kanila para humarap din sa, hindi po maliit na bagay, ang isang dating OFW humarap sa kaso mula sa isang diplomat ng ating gobyerno. So is there... Uh, If it's Senator not Isa? improper, Mr. Chair, is there any no, way no, that before you, before you answer that? Salamat, Mr. Chair. Uh, we don't even have to ask. We don't even have to beg from... Uh, I'm just following up, Mr. Chair. Yeah, it's not okay, Senator Risa. I see what you're coming from. Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Tutulungan kita. Ako magbibigay sa'yo ng lawyer. Labanan natin. I'll fight for you. I'll fight for you. Mr. Chairman, may apply po kasi ako pabalik ng Taiwan. Ngayon po. <laughs> Ay, naalala ko po yung NBI clearance ko. Hindi po ako makakakuha kung may pending case po ako. Meron ba na isyong warrant? Wala pa po. Then dapat di makialam mo ng NBI. Let's go to the NBI. NBI? Uh, nandito ba NBI? Okay. Wala pang na isyong warrant. Bakit te, ma, matatranish agad yung image at hindi siya mabibigyan ng uh, clearance? Sir, kasi wala pang resolution yung case po. Pwedeng maka, at, naka, ano, dun sa, mag-reflect doon sa NBI clearance niya. Even na uh, hindi pa na yakit sa judge yung kaso, nasa fiscal level pala? Eh, meron po yun na nagre-reflect po yun doon. Pero pwede naman siguro ano, kung may uh, resolution or whatever, uh, pwede pong Mr. Kung, Chair? Dismiss na. Opo. In, in relation to the point uh, being raised to ma'am, Olga, yun po, uh, baka the ball is still in the court of the good congen. Uh, if is, is it even possible, Mr. Chair, na iatras nila yung kaso? If it's not improper to ask po, yes, may atras po yung kaso Madam laban Chair. sa mga OFW. Hindi kasi para sa akin, magkakaroon pa ng utang na love yung OFW, wala naman siyang kasalanan kung tutusin. Uh, Di naman po as, siguro, as a Mr. former Chair. OFW rin po, ma'am, it was really so hard for me to include them in the complaint, but As mentioned earlier, the allegations of inaction against me and the consulate uh, were traced to the three of them, uh, Ms. Cabasis, Ms. Antonio, and Mr. Catillo. So nag-usap po kami ni Ms. Apple, and sabi ko, just come up with a sworn statement and tell the truth. Kung hindi mo pala sinabi na nagharap tayo, eh bakit yun yung nakalabas sa dyaryo na hindi ko raw po inasikaso, busy daw po ako, Pero how could that happen, Mr. Chair, when they are here in the Philippines, I'm there in Milan? So, yun po yung basis ng li cyber libel case. So, Conjen, Mr. Chair, kung hindi pag-atras, pero saan po papunta yung mga salita nyo kanina na a possible modification? And not, as the Chair corrected as as, myself, uh, as not Conjen as a matter of utang na loob, but as po. a matter of so, justice and fairness sa mga workers. Bigay lang po yung sworn statement that they did not issue the statements attributed to them by the Tribune na negligent po ako and okay na po yun. Okay, then, pabalik tayo dito sa tribun muna. Okay, Attorney Ferdinand Topasio, yung legal counsel, in-house counsel ng Daily Tribune. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. I would just like to respectfully inform uh, uh, the Honorable Vice Chair, Ma'am uh, Senator Risa, that uh, the lawyers of the victims have already filed through their lawyers for a precautionary hold departure order with the DOJ Uh, honorable Senator. So maybe this Honorable Committee can just follow up with the uh, release of the said uh, PHDO against uh, Criselle Respicio and Frederick Dutaro. 
uh, Edna, Liberty, and Frederick. Uh, these are the uh, are those connected with uh, Alpha Assistance, Your Honor. And uh, lastly, uh, your, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, res with all due respect, may we respectfully uh, uh, urge, uh, re uh, request this committee to urge the DFA to keep, uh, in the meantime that there is an investigation, Sol Cato in the Philippines, Your Honor, because of the allegations with respect to connections with uh, Alpha Asistenza, wherein Alpha Asistenza uh, sponsored a uh, Independence Day celebration to the tune of 26,000 euros uh, in order to uh, uh, remove any doubts that uh, uh, Consul General Cato may be influencing events in uh, Milan, Your, uh, Your Honors. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Yeah, but we have to we we have to review all uh, available documents pertaining to the allegations, Attorney Depasho, and then after that, then we have to come up with a decision. And per your request, then we need to talk to the proper agency. We thank Mr. the Chair. committee, Your Honor. Yes, Senator Riza. In re in relation to the first point raised by the in-house counsel, I'm glad to hear that good news, and I support the request for the support of the or the follow up of the committee through the chair of the action already undertaken by the in house Thank council ma'am salamat mr chair and i'd like to um, um acknowledge the presence of senator bato de la rosa uh, medyo late na pero meron kang quick statement wala na mr chair pakita lang ako thank you sir pakita thank you sir sa inyo. Pakita thank you sir yun lang okay may balita kami na yung owners daw ng alpha already flew to saudi arabia to makas na nandito pa ang bureau of immigration Wala na raw? Uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Inquiry, Mr. Chair. I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. Po. Mr. Chair, may, ano ba, may extradition treaty ba between the Philippines and Saudi Arabia? Just a point of inquiry, Mr. Chair. That I'm not a private of. Wala. DFA, wala. Uh, yun, yung DOJ. Wala, wala po. Wala pong extradition treaty with Saudi Arabia, even with Italy. So, immigration, totoo ba? Nakatakas na? Ito mga owners ng Alpha, nasa Saudi na. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, sa binigay pong limang pangalan ng sekretariat, si Diane Crisel Respicio, Frederick Dotaro, nakalis po sila nung December 13, 2023. December 13. Opo, and then... So, naka, nakapuslit na? Uh, apparently, Your Honor. And then, yung destination po nung flight na yon is Saudi Arabia, although hindi po namin alam kung may connecting flight po from Saudi Arabia. And then si EXL Sebastian and Mikey Agustin po nakaalis ng October 9, 2023, pareho pong papunta ng Nagoya. Yung nandito lang po si, sa Pilipinas ay si Prisca Nina Mabatid na dumating po noong January 26, 2024 mula sa United Arab Emirates. Okay. Yun Now, Mr. Chair. Attorney Tapasio. Uh, so yes, you want file kayo ng, uh, the, the lawyer, the lawyers. Yes, of the victims, of the uh, victims. Mr. Chair. Nagpala ng Holy Padre order. Was that before December 13? No. Uh, we filed it on uh, January 26, 2024, before the DOJ. So uh, it the... would appear uh, we are very late. sad to hear that we were late, uh, Mr. <laughs> Chair, uh, members of the Honorable Committee. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair. Salamat, Mr. Chair. At least dun sa panlimang tao, si Ms. Mabatid, if she's still in the country, kung maaari pong maimbita din po natin yes. sa susunod na pagdating. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. Mr. Chair, uh, if I may just respectfully Attorney suggest Ferdinand. to the committee, while there is no extradition treaty uh, with Saudi Arabia, um, from what I know of uh, diplomatic relations, extradition may still be requested on a case-to-case -case basis as long as you have diplomatic relations with that country, Your Honors. Then we have to review that maybe. We can go on with that. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Chair. Thank you, Your Honors. So, lastly, before we end this hearing, uh, pang na hearing. Uh, so, ginamit siya na source ng Daily Tribune. And that is the reason uh, kung bakit kayo po, Ma'am Vanessa, ay kinasuhan ni uh, Con Consul General. Uh, Ma'am Apple, totoo bang source kayo? Tatlo po kaming tribute. Tatlo po kaming kinasuhan ni Conjen Cato. Pero kasama po. source po kayo po talaga ang pumunta sa Tribune para magreklamo para sabihin ko ano man nalalaman ninyo and then sinulat ng Daily Tribune. Lumapit po kami sa Daily Tribune para magreklamo tungkol kay Alpa. Ang mga natanggap pong reklamo ng Daily Tribune pa, uh, ang natanggap pong reklamo ng Daily Tribune tungkol kay Conjen Cato hindi po sa amin nang galing. Naging messenger lang po kaming tatlo. 
dahil kami, ah, kaming dalawa, dahil kami po yung uh, nag, unang nag-live, sa amin po sila nag-chat-chat. Sa so, never kayo naging source para doon sa mga allegations against Mr. Kato. Pinong Pero kami, against those alpha, kayo yung source. Kami po yung source ng sa alpha. Yung kay Conjan Kato, po, reklamo po lahat siya ng, uh, ng OFW po sa Milan. Ipinaforward lang po namin sa Daily Tribune. Tin- tinatanong din naman po nila kung totoo. Nababasa din naman po namin sa GC okay. na totoo so therefore, yung mga reklamo. So therefore, forward nyo lang. So oh, meron talagang reklamo, Consul General. Yes, and I, I these think, complaints yeah. are valid from their fellow Siguro OFW. Siguro po para... Pinaforward nila sa uh, the Daily Tribune and Daily Tribune has to write that kasi valid yung mga complaints. Para po malaman natin yung totoo, Mr. Senator, siguro we could ask Daily Tribune to present those OFWs in Milan who allegedly said we failed to act on their complaints. Because as I mentioned earlier, the first complaint came on July 31. And they've been making certain allegations that we could not really prove. But sir. they've been trying to contact you. Sir, that's what they're that? saying, sir. So may I ask uh, the Daily Tribune to please tell me what phone number you were calling? Okay, sige. Uh, uh, Mr. Tribute. Chair, may I respectfully defer to uh, our writer, Mr. Allen Hernandez, who uh, who, who uh, was able to process the information. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, your honors, please. Thank you. Mr. Allen. Okay, so good afternoon, your honors. I'm Allen Hernandez. I was the uh, producer. Mr. Hernandez, uh, come sec. Okay, can ah, we... Sorry. Put him on These were to tell the truth, the whole truth in this, the whole truth and nothing but the truth in this investigation. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so I was the, I'm Alan Hernandez. I was the producer and co-host of Usapang OFW. So, um, uh, the story, uh, the the first story of Milan came in September seven when we, uh, when I uh, reached Mr. out. Mister Nandes, sorry, ah, medyo kulang to sorry. What I'm interested in is totoo ba na kinukontak nyo itong si Consul General para kuri nyo kanyang side? Yes, Your Honor. And tinatanong niya anong phone number daw? Yung messenger na. You, uh, and you have, you have the print copies of, and yeah, I have the records to show. Okay. Na talagang sa kanya yon. And then siguro, Consul General, you have to check. Siguro natin gawin dito, baka for privacy purposes, tingnan mo kung talagang sa iyo yun. Tingin ko sa iyo yun. May... Now, sa... in-admit mo sa kanya yun. O, oh, kinukonta ka pala nila. Sumagot naman po ako. And in some cases, I may not be able to answer. But yung yung naging story po dyan is, uh, they were not contacting me by phone because they could always contact me via messenger. And they were saying they asked a mutual friend to get in touch with me. That mutual friend never got in touch with me, sir. I was talking to him a few Go, go ahead, Attorney Tupasio. Mr. Chair, Honorable Vice Chair and members, uh, we, uh, uh, under my advice, they uh, were not producing these because of the mm. Data Privacy Act. However, Your Honors, if uh, Consul General Cato mm. would waive his uh, uh, the benefits of that law, we will be furnishing this uh, honorable committee with this, Your Honor, because uh, he has to waive. Otherwise, we will be liable. Unless we are required by this honorable committee to submit it, in which case, uh, in obedience to a legal duty imposed by this committee, we will submit it, yeah, Your Honor. So that is our dilemma, If, uh, uh, with all due respect, Your Honors. So therefore, Comsec, issue a subpoena to the documents being referred to by Attorney Topasio. Sir, so I, I, I would waive. Your way, okay, so they're part of the exhibit in the cyber libel suit I filed. Kasama po yung conversation na yan. Sige. Now, last na lamang, bago natin suspend to. So, um, Consul General El Mercato, itutuloy niyo po bang demanda laban sa kanya? Dahil pagtutuloy niyo, I'll be more than happy na tutulungan siya, ipaglalaban ko siya hanggang sa dulo ng walang hanggan. Sinabi ko po kay Apple, mag-submit lang ng sworn statement and we will... Withdraw. When then she has to consult, meron pa rin siyang lawyer, consult mo sa lawyer niya, and then kukuha ko ng lawyer for her, then nila, consult niya dun sa lawyer. Na, na hindi nila sinabi yung nakasulat sa tribune na hindi po kami umaksyon. Okay. Sige. Mr. Chair. Uh, 
Sir, Uling right? point lang. It's not a question. Mabilis lang. Uh, may napansin po kami ni na mabatid online. So at least for the next hearing, siya po ba yung fifth person named by Attorney Ungkad earlier? Yes. Yes, siya yun. Sa susunod Thank hearing. Thank you, Chair. So maganda yes, po sana na makadating ulit si Ms. Mabatid. So next hearing, she has to be here. Or, or at least in present to the hearing. Salamat, Mr. Okay. Chair. Th thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, due to lack of material time, the chair directs all parties who wish to submit further position papers to send them to the committee accordingly. Notices and invitations for the next hearing, February 13, will be sent accordingly. In the meantime, this hearing is hereby suspended.